In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11 and 12, Paul admonishes the church of Thessalonica to work with their own hands. You know, live a quiet life, work with their own hands. And then in verse 12, it talks about, um, so you won't be in need of, of, of anything else. And as you think about that today, you see, once again, in the faith, people bickering about who did what. I didn't do this. He didn't do this. I didn't. It's just bickering. And it's amazing to me because years ago when I was saying, brothers, why don't you just get your own land? Get your own land. Live a quiet and peaceable life. Build. And don't worry about the rest. That was so spoken against. People were coming out, oh, that's foolish, that's this, that's that, that's this, that's that. When that's exactly what the Bible says. You see, here on the rock and in many other homesteads where brothers decided to keep their preeminence and their dominion, they decided to not give their stuff over, irregardless of what pastors or elders were saying to them. These brothers are building their homesteads with their own lands, uh, with their own hands, excuse me. They're working hard, they're building. And nobody, there's never going to be an argument. You come here to the rock, and there's never going to be an argument of who put in the work here. I don't ever have to worry about somebody coming and saying, you're lazy. I don't ever have to worry about that. I didn't try to impress uh, another man. I tried to, to, to honor and to impress my yacht, to show that I am a good steward to what he has given me. Shalom, I am following Yeshua. Welcome again to the rock. You're seeing grown men today argue and bicker about who did what, who's lazy, who's not. He didn't put in enough work. He didn't put enough work. I did do that. No, I didn't. And when you come here, just like when you go to many other brothers' homesteads, you don't ever have to worry about, did you do that? You don't, I don't ever have to worry about people arguing and bickering with me. I can live a quiet and peaceful life. Right here, you see, this is our second chicken house. Oh, sorry, our third chicken house. Third chicken coop. You know, when you're bringing in 60, 70 eggs, when you, uh, 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 well, 30 to 60 eggs, when you built this, and if you want to know what this is, I will be doing a video about what these tires are for, here for and why I have them in both my main coop and now this coop over here. When you raise your own animals, when you build your own house, or even if you drag the trailer onto your house or to your property, or your property had a house on it, when people see the work that is done on your land, nobody is ever going to be able to say or to take away from you. See, I don't have to sit back and wonder, you oh, know, are they going to say this? Are they going to know that I was lazy? Are they going to know that I was chilling? Are they going to know that I don't work hard? Because when you come to the rock, you get to see it. When I show you the gardens, you get to see it. When many of my other brothers show you what they do, you get to see it. You know, too many times in these churches, ministries, uh, communities, what happens is, is you, brother, you go there and you put in your hard and work. Your money goes there. Your time goes there. Your effort goes there. And then when you leave, for one reason or another, they're going to call you lazy. Lazy, stupid, foolish, yada, yada, yada. And you really have nothing that you can show. There's really no proof. You may be able to show a video or two of you in the background doing some work. But there's nothing really, there's no argument that you really have against what they're saying about you. But when you build your own, through the gifts that the Most High, the talents the Most High has given you. When you are raising your family outside of them. When you raise your meat outside of them, when you raise 95, 50, however many percentage of your vegetables outside of them, they can't take that away from you. They can't say shit about you. Because you have used the gifts that Yah gave you. The only praises that you have to sing are the praises of the brothers that have come to help you. And then all honor and glory goes to the Most High God. So that's a big difference. The sisters will tell you, oh yeah, we make 
our own cloth diapers. We don't have to spend a, 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 a dime for diapers, a dime for soap. Made here. I think Sister T said that uh, she's ahead of my the canning here. Um, she said that she's canned over 24 cans of green beans. She gets to thank ya. Well, she'll, she'll, <laughs> she'll thank me, you know, for buying this stuff. But in reality, nobody's going to be able to come. Brother, no man's going to come into your house and say, yeah, you know, I taught her that. It'll be you. Do you know what kind of dominion you're going to start having when the influence of your house and how it runs has your handprint on it instead of your pastor's handprint on it? Do you know what kind of and how your family will see you, brothers? This is why I talk about this stuff. And I've been talking about it for six, seven, eight, not eight, eight years. Eight years I've been talking about this. When people talk shit and said that you're wicked, you're foolish, you just don't want this, you just don't want, oh, what is it, uh, 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 accountability. Yeah, they act like you can't be accountable to another brother and another brother accountable to you if you have your own land. They act like you can't have real brotherhood. They act like you can't be there for each other. And they fear y'all and fear y'all and fear y'all. And then you've seen it. Witness, both the Bible says the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. How many times have you seen somebody leave the church that you're part of, leave the assembly you're part of, leave the camp that you're part of, and only thing that they have is they get talked shit on? Because when they leave, they don't have anything to show what they've done. So there's no way to disprove what the leadership is saying. There's no way to disprove it. Well, I'll just, I'll show you these. I can show you these. We have probably, I think we have 22 roost, uh, hens and two roosters in here. I'm just gonna show you some things. So these are just our roosters. These are roosters that we're just raising basically to eat. And yes, they're making compost. That the, tires are, the tires that were behind me that you saw, they are for compost also. The, there are about, I don't know, 70-ish hens. Well, maybe, maybe 60 hens and like five roosters in here. Let me get you a... Here we go. Here's some more of them. I mean, the same tire system in here. Look at this. We have moringa trees. Is that moringa tree? See those moringa trees? Uh, praise yeah, huh? We got the holy basil over there. Holy basil is wonderful. Orange trees. <laughs> People say, you're growing orange trees out there? Yes, this is our second year with them. We got rosemary. Rosemary. And lavender, rosemary and lavender, lavender and rosemary. You see, the wonderful thing, though, is nobody can say, oh, well, it's because of us. No, you get to say, it's because of Yah. It's because of Yah that these things are happening. It's because of Yah and the blessings that he's blessing you. You can directly say, Yah is blessing me. Here's our next set coming in. Not quite ready to be released. But yes, we hatch our own chickens here too. <gasps> but the blessings of Yah. You see, when Yah blesses you, you're not sitting there saying, well, the pastor, you can directly say, well, Yah is doing this for me. Yah is doing this for me. Yah sees the work of my hands because you know these leaders are always trying to take away what you've done. But when they can't take it away, then what? When you can sit back and say, I praise Yah and I thank Yah and the only thing that they can do is seize because they can't take it away from you. Here's one of my fig trees and I have an abundance of fig trees. Look up. This thing's probably 10 feet tall right now. I had to top it off actually. Look at the figs. You see that? 
You see the figs we're gonna have? Here's another one. This one's not ready, but we won't be eating from this tree this year. How about another fig tree? How about another fig tree? And another. And another. And another. How about another fig tree? When you're serving ya, the only thing that people can do is try, uh, is ignore you. Because they can't say anything. So I, that's why I've encouraged you brothers. I'm not done yet. Let me show you some more. All right, look at the size of these fig trees. Look at those. And these die back every year. Every year, they will die to the ground and then grow back. Look at this. You see those figs? This thing is absolutely loaded with figs. Absolutely loaded. Again, that is the most high yeah. That is his blessings. Oh, we're not done with the fig trees yet. And even after I show you these, I'm not going to the other side to show you the rest. Yeah, look at this. Passion fruit. I didn't even plant it. I didn't even plant it. Didn't even plant it myself. Just growing wild. Look at these fig trees back here. Look at those fig trees. And this does not include all the other various foods that Yah has provided. Now these fig trees are not bearing this year. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. I'm mistaken. Here they are right there. But as you can see in there, we got passion fruit climbing the fig trees. See, there's another fig tree right there, and there's one back there. Elderberries back there. This is Jerusalem artichokes. See, what they don't want you to know is they don't want you to know that you could do it also. They don't want you to know that. So they keep you away from people that can actually speak life to you. And they keep you in a perpetual bondage. They keep you believing that you can't do it without them. They keep you in that mindset. Because, and they tell you, you know, don't eat off other tables, don't listen to nobody else. Because they're afraid that if you did listen to somebody else, they really spoke life to you. Where nobody can take it away from you. They certainly can't take it away from you. They can't uh, disparage your name and destroy your name whenever they feel like it. Because you're obeying, yeah. You're obeying, yeah. I'm in it with this. Look at this. More passion fruit. Again, I didn't plant it. I didn't plant it. Some of you need to walk in this faith that you say you have. This faith in Yah. And stop placing your faith in man. And you would see this and probably more. Probably more. But hey, you've been scared, huh? You've been feared to death. I'm going to end up showing you one more thing. So here we are. This is the incubator where we hatch our own eggs. This little $60. Now we have a bigger one that holds about 60 eggs. But this one's working fine for us. And here they are after they're hatched. And they go from this stage to outside. Let me tell y'all brothers. You can do this too. Bless y'all. Shalom.